All right, hello everyone, <clears throat> and peace of Christ all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Uh, please let me know if you have any difficulty from your side, and I hope you are enjoying the new microphone. Um, today our topic is about uh, Muslims or Muhammadans saying that the Trinity does not make sense. And you know, I find it very funny when somebody speak about such a thing, especially if he's a Muslim. You know, when a Muslim he speak. <clears throat> about what it makes sense then can we ask you the same question does it make sense does it make sense that you have god he have a body but he have no spirit what is he concrete does it make sense that you have god who is only one <clears throat> but yet in the quran he says if you want to have a partner he will have it from ourselves. Does it make sense that the Quran says that Mary she gave birth without a man? Why the Muslim don't question that? Just because the Quran saying so, nobody. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense. So here we see the hypocrisy of this cult. This cult debate you in a strategic hypocrisy. <clears throat> If you believe in sense, then you explain to us how you believe in things which does not make sense at all. And what makes sense to you, how come even Jesus being son of no man? How that makes sense to you? <clears throat> if you say to me the Quran saying he is like Adam, that's very really funny. And that does not make sense too, because he is not the same as Adam. Adam was created from mud. He is not born. Actually, the Quran says, وَجَعَلْنَاهُ نَسَبًا مُصِحْرًا What does that mean? Interpretation that every human being is born from mixing the water of the man and the water of the women. So what you say to me except Jesus? So when a Muslim speak about making sense, he is just playing a game. Does it make sense that if you go and make war and kill people, that there is God, he will make for you a lot of virgins in heaven? Does it make sense that he will give you an endless uh, orgasm? 70 years? Does it make sense that your private part will be endless? Does it make sense that Allah will give you 80,000 little boys to serve you in the heaven as you Muslim claim they are just servants, not for other things? Does it make sense that all of them, they have to be white? Does it make sense that your God will give you women, they are transparent to the point you can see the mirror of their bones? So I find it very funny <clears throat> when a Muslim speak about making sense. You see how much sense your religion makes? So when a Muslim speak about the Trinity, it's not because the Trinity makes sense or not. It's just because he himself, he creates his own sense. It's a sense of a humor. It's a sense of hypocrisy. It's a sense of a questioning, but not to learn, but just to question. Supposedly, he's trying to make it difficult for you. Now, how I can, explain, uh, how I can uh, uh, answer a Muslim? If he says to me uh, such a question, explain to me the Trinity. Explain to me the Trinity. Well, explain to me God. Can you Muslims explain, explain to us God? Your God, Allah, have a throne. He sit on it. He have a face. He have a look. Can you explain that to us? Or we cannot explain. Your God, Allah, is a physical being, but he have no spirit. Can you explain that? Or we cannot explain. So, why you are asking others to explain about their God, but yet you cannot explain your God? Do you see the other side of the hypocrisy? Because if you are a person, you have to be a person who is asking about belief, and those, or whatever the belief is, uh, raising question for you, you have to be consistent. You have to ask yourself the same questions. So the second you ask a Muslim the same question he asks you, Islam collapse. <clears throat> you know what I mean? 
This is why I always I say to you, take the Muslim question and get it back to him and you will see in a second he is in trouble. In the same second, he is in trouble. What makes sense in Islam? Okay, I will tell you what makes sense. It makes sense that there's a guy, he came 600 years after Jesus, he have no witnesses, he never saw Jesus, he never spoke to Moses, he never spoke to any. And he is the one who will witness for us to what happened to Jesus 600 years after. It makes sense for you as a Muslim that the disciple of Jesus, you say that they wrote the Bible about 50 or 60 years after Jesus. You say this is long time, but it's not long time if somebody speak about Jesus 600 years after. You see the hypocrisy? <clears throat> no sound again? No sound. Are you sure, guys? I don't know. From my side, it's coming fine, so I'm not sure. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, maybe the Mohammedan they started their game because each time I go online they start a flooding you know we are hurting them <clears throat> we are hurting their cult badly each time I go online they they do this game but it's okay uh, so when a, when a Mohammedan he speak about making sense he is not making sense himself with the question because there's nothing makes sense in Islam. Period. Does it make sense that there is a prophet of God, he is decent, yet he married children? A man at the age of 54 go after a child? Does it make sense that you kill the family, you kill the father, you kill the husband, you kill, you, kill, you kill the son, you kill the brother, and then you rape the women? And then you speak about God of mercy? Does it make sense that your God, Allah, he said, uh, he will punish the sinners, but he is the one who forced him to commit sin? I mean, look who is talking. Do you believe it? According to Islam, all your sin is a pre-ordinate. <clears throat> As an example, just to show you that this, this cult is a cult of madness. And actually, I'm trying to avoid to use the word stupidity because it's far from, from, from just being stupid. Look at this. According to Muhammad, and the one is talking here is Muhammad, not me. That every adulterer, adulteress who commit adultery, he is not committing it because he chooses to do so, but because Allah, He ordained for him to do so. That makes sense. And because I committed adultery, Allah will punish me. But yet He is the one who forced me to do it. I mean, do you see that how much this this cult makes sense? Do you see how, I mean, how stupid it is? I, I make you do it, and then I punish you for I made you do it. Have you ever heard of a stupid religion more than this? So obviously, this is, makes sense. When Adam and Moses, according to Muhammad, they had a debate, and I have no idea how, how Moses and uh, Adam they met, but don't ask Muhammad. It makes sense. <laughs> it makes sense. Uh, everything makes sense. Adam and Moses, they have a debate. Where? In which university? Is that in the uh, face to face? And Moses, he says to him, uh, silence me. So Moses and Adam, as you see, all those authentic stories supposedly from Muhammad. They have a debate, and Musa says to uh, to uh, uh, to Musa, because of you, you know, uh, we are out of heaven. 
So Moses says to him, are you stupid or uh, uh, sorry, Adam, he says to Moses, are you stupid or what? Don't you know that this is Allah? He ordered night for me to do the sin 40 years before my creation. Do you see it, guys? And this is Sahih. Do you blame me for doing the deed which Allah had decreed that I should do 40 years before my creation? I mean, that makes sense. So look at this crazy religion. They have a God. His name is Allah. He make you commit sin and then he kick you out from heaven because you committed sin. And look at this stupid religion. We have a prophet. His name is Moses. He died. And now this is after death. They're debating with Adam. Moses, even after death, still he don't understand Islam. And he's a Muslim. And he's a prophet. You know what I mean? Because the one who is asking the question is Moses, and Moses in Islam suppose is a Muslim prophet. Anything move in the time of Muhammad or dead before him, and he's famous, he make him a Muslim. Alexander the Great is a Muslim. If Michael Jackson was existent time of Muhammad, he will make him a Muslim. Trump, he will make him a Muslim. Trust me. Ivanka Trump, he will make her uh, a whore. Where is sense? You tell me about sense. And then Muhammad, he says three times that Adam, he confronted Moses, which means Moses was an idiot. So when Muhammad didn't speak about making sense, he is not really making sense himself because he is coming from background of no sense. Does it make sense that you have to pray to Allah five times a day? Stop in your work. I mean, you can pray in your heart. You see, this is religion. Is based in being lazy and you know not to be uh, uh, productive. What about helping the poor in the time you spend for prayer? 20, 20 minutes to prepare, 20 minutes to do it, and then 20 minutes after that to talk about it. Because you have to tell everybody, and that's why they pray in the corners, and that's why Jesus says, don't be like the hypocrite who pray in the corners. He was speaking about them. Right? So, what does make sense for a Muslim? Let me let me tell you now about the Trinity. Who are you to tell who is God? I mean, God, he says, I am who I am. This is who I am. So if you have the authority, then change how God is. Do you have, can you question your God? How, okay, what about we ask Allah why he is one? I don't like one. I like you to be two. I mean, look how silly the argument. Do you see how stupid it is? And if he is one or not, that would not make any difference. The question is, he is exist or not? Let us say there, there's a guy, he have uh, 1,000 God, and they are exist. So, so he's right, and you are wrong. Your God does not exist. So, when a Muslim, he speak about himself being in oneness of God, he think like he have a degree upon others. Actually, first of all, we are the one who believe in one God, not you. And we can prove it. Because... When you believe in God, you should not associate the name of one person beside God with God. As an example, what if the Muslim they use the word shirk in Arabic? What is shirk? Shirk is to associate somebody beside God, which is supposedly Allah. Well, the Muslim they cannot say two words together without putting Muhammad next to him. Actually, in order to become a Muslim, it's not enough to say I believe in Allah, you have to say the name of Muhammad. They are mushrikeen, they are kuffar. And the additional thing, proving Islam to be a cult, if you believe in one God, and this God is in heaven, no problem, why you kiss black stones? What the black stones for? Mwah. What, kiss me baby? And this black stone is in the shape of a private part. And then you claim that, Muhammad, he claimed that this is the right hand of Allah. In earth and not only that he says that whoever is going to uh, hold this stone this black stone is going uh, witness for you witness for me how the stone will witness for me you must be a pagan make sense 
makes sense that you believe in one God and he is in heaven, yet you have a stone you have to kiss because your prophet kiss it without anyone. I mean, if, did any of the Muslims ask him why you kiss it? Sahih Hadith. This stone in the judgment day is going to have eyes, is going to seize, and tongue is going to speak with it, is going to witness for you. That makes sense. I'm really convinced. I'm truly, truly, truly convinced. So, to make it simple for those who don't understand what's going to happen, <clears throat> I will show you the black stone. All right. So this is the black stone. I will put it for you on the screen. Let us see. All right, let's put it for you again. So this is the black stone, my friend. I'm just trying to understand with you the logic of the Muhammadan, those who ask for logic. This is the black stone, and this is exactly what we will have in the judgment day. The black stone is going to have eyes. Oh, look how sexy. Oof. I'm trying to draw it very sexy so the Muslim will not be offended. And it's going to have a mouth and a tongue. And this is the tongue coming out. Now, don't tell me I'm exaggerating. I'm just drawing exactly as your prophet said. So, my friend, it makes sense. It makes a lot of sense that there's a God. His name is Allah. He have a black stone in earth. We kiss it. It's the right hand of Allah. And this stone is going to witness for us in the judgment day. I mean, who can say this, this is absolutely makes sense. Yet the Trinity does not make sense for them. I mean, look, look how much, so much they are religious and they are so much into making. I mean, you have to, you, you, are not, you did not convince me. The Trinity did not make sense. Do you see the madness? So when a Muhammadan speak about what makes sense, what does not make sense, he is not really making sense because he is the last one can talk about making sense. Did you ask your prophet where he got this from? I and mean, what, what does that mean? This is silly. And why we need a stone to witness for us in the judgment day? I, I thought Allah, he knew all our sin. So the stone will tell us, will tell him? What is the stone? Is the hard drive of Allah? All right. Somebody saying the confusion is coming from uh, Jesus being a human and at the same time being God. No, my friend, this is not the confusion. Those people are just because Muhammad, he said, whatever Muhammad, he said, they accept. If, if Muhammad said Jesus is God, he, they, he that's it, he's God. Did you ever hear, heard of a Muslim a questioning how Jesus is a human, yet he is born of a mother, but yet he have no father? They don't question that, correct? Why? Because the Quran says so. Do you understand? Just because the Quran says so, 
If the verse in the Quran does not say that Jesus is a son of Mary, who, a woman who never know a man, the Muslim will be making fun of you right now. Say, <laughs> you believe that Jesus is son of a virgin? But they don't question that. If somebody is asking, where is the nose? Uh, Muhammad did not say no, so I cannot draw it. Sorry. Yeah, actually, this is a good question, Ferry. You see, Ferry is saying, which one of the stones is going to have uh, to have uh, the the eyes? Because there's uh, eight small stones. You see that many, maybe maybe people do not know that the stone, the black stone, is not even one piece. This is there's not this is this is what is left over of the black stone. This is what is left over. Let me show you because most of you do not know really that this is not really one one stone. Let me see. Here we go. This is a more clear image. Do you see how small the stones? This is what is left of the stones. And this is additional proof that Islam is a cult. Because if this stone will witness in the judgment day, shouldn't Allah preserve it? Look what, look what is left from it. Look, look at those pieces. The rest, the brown thing is wax uh, uh, mixed with the expensive, uh, like a uh, musk. It's a wax and they have to do maintenance every week and they watch it closely because people they can unblock it and take and state it you see the stones those are the stones there's no black stone so if this is a stone sent by Allah is going to witness for us in the judgment day shouldn't Allah protect his stone where is the stones they are gone How this is stone, and so now we have to do maintenance and add wax around it to make it look in the old shape because it's gone. So yeah, where is the eyes will be in which stone? Maybe the the the, the eyes will be in one stone, and the and the and the tongue will be in another stone, and the lips will be in the other stone. Does it make sense? Does it make sense that you are not a pagan but yet you kiss stones? Mwah! It's a stone. And not only that, history report that this stone was a private part of the God of fertility. How in the world do you claim that you are not pagan but yet you kiss stones? And not only that, Muhammad he said that the black stone and the other stones in the other corner, they forgive the sin of Muslims. If you touch them or kiss them, they erase your sin. Did Muhammad say that? Absolutely. Let us show you. Here we go. So I find it very funny and very uh, hypocrisy, high hypocrisy, that they speak about what makes sense <clears throat> and what does not make sense, but nothing in Islam makes sense, my friend. Look at this. Look at this cult. We have a prophet who believe in one God. He says to us that the one who touched the stones, the black stone and the Yemeni corners, by touching them, it erase your sin. Do you see it? Why the black stone is God? So they come to you and they say we are people who don't worship a human but their god is a human and we can prove it easy number one the real god is muhammad number two even this god allah according to muhammad he looked like a man if we go in the hadith give me a second please <clears throat> Lord have mercy. If we go in the hadith, we will find the following. Is my voice coming good, guys? Do you like the new microphone? This microphone made by Allah. It's a holy microphone. 
Is the sound good? If there's any noise background, tell me if there is any problem. I think it's good, right? Even good for singing. I was think I was thinking about before I start singing, saying inshallah. Because if you don't say inshallah, nothing will work. <clears throat> so if we go here. We will find a lot of stories, and those stories not only they don't make sense, it's a pagan belief. But if you read with me carefully the coming hadith, you will see. Muhammad, he described Allah, he looked exactly like the Antichrist. And this is not my description. And this is a Sahih Hadith. So the Muslim cannot deny it. This is Muhammad talking, saying, I have been telling you about a Dajjal, that the Dajjal is another form of Antichrist. Actually, it's a false translation to say Antichrist. A Dajjal simply is the Messiah, the Dajjal. The Dajjal means the liar. So what the Muslim believe that there is a person he will claim to be the Messiah, he will come in the end of the time. All right? This is not really the Antichrist. This is stupid, you know. Sometime, like I wonder, like the one who is translating, I'm like, what, 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 why you put the word Antichrist there? So this is the false Messiah. And look what Muhammad is worried about. He's worried. He's saying, that I'm afraid. I told you too much about the Dajjal. Okay, you told us too much. And, and so he told us too much, but yet he is worried how we will recognize him. I mean, look how silly. That I am afraid you might understand that the Antichrist is short, hinted, woolly haired, one eyed and eye sightless, and neither protruding nor deep seated. And if you are confused about him, know that your Lord is not one eyed. What is this guy is talking about? If this guy come in as a man anyway, he will claim to be the Messiah. So why we would be confused about how Allah look and how he look like? Do you see it? So the Muhammadan, they say to us how you worship a man, but their God obviously is a man. Otherwise, I challenge you to explain to me why Muhammad is afraid that people, they will think that the false Messiah who is coming as a man because he claimed to be the Messiah anyway. Why is afraid that he will look like Allah? And the only difference between them is one eye, which means Allah is short. Allah have a woolly hair. This one says, deep seated. And the only difference between Allah and this man is the eye. Do you see the madness? Does that make sense? Why Muhammad is afraid? I'm afraid. If you are confused about Allah, you should not. You should know that Allah is not one-eyed. So he's describing for us how this man look like, so we can differentiate between him and Allah. Obviously, Allah must be a man. Correct. Exactly, too much hashish. Al hashish wa ma adraka al hashish. For sure, meant literal because this is. You see, do you see the word short? I mean, come on. Do you see the word short? Do you see the word haunted? Hint, hunt, hint, hunted. Sorry, I'm not sure if I'm saying it correctly. Excuse my English. Woolly haired, one eyed. So for sure, this is physical body description. You should know that Allah is not one eyed. <laughs> right? You cannot say this is metaphorical, it's obvious. Well, I'm so glad that Allah is not one eyed. Otherwise, uh, <laughs> I mean, he have two eyes. So if I play in the background of him, he will not know. Why Allah have two eyes? Any Muslim can tell us. Where, and where is his eyes located? Here we go. You don't uh, you don't like the Trinity. I want to know why Allah have two eyes and where are where are they located? 
Hmm? What about Allah have two hands? Have you ever heard of a God? He have hands and both of them they are in the right side. Why? He have a birth defect? Hmm? Allah have two hands, both of them they are right. Why Allah need to have two hands? You tell me. Do you see it? So who in the world want to believe in this and who in the world want to accept this? And yet they speak about what, what makes sense, what does not make sense. I say it doesn't make sense to be a, to, to be a Muhammadan for a second. Not even for a second. Does it make sense that the God of Islam believed Alexander the Great was a Muslim, Muslim prophet? And the, this guy, he was a bisexual? Does it make sense that the prophet says that shaitan, he sleep in your nose and piss in your ears? I mean, look who is talking about making sense. Are you serious? Does it make sense that if you don't have a certain prayer before you have intercourse with your wives, Shaitan will wrap himself around your private part and he will be doing your wife and he will have a baby from Shaitan? It makes sense. Which means Muhammad is son of Shaitan. Because Muhammad himself, his father, is a, is a pagan and he did not say this, that a prayer. I mean, look how silly this man is, Muhammad. There's a guy once used to come to chat room and he insulted the Christians. Each time he take the microphone, Christians, you are the sons of the devil, shaitan. He do boom, boom to your mother when he has everything because he didn't say, you know. So he, he didn't say that the reason, but he says, shaitan, you are a son of shaitan. All right. So. Uh, the admin in that room he says to me uh, can can you just this guy here we go he just entered the room he will come to the mic he will say the same exactly every time can you take the mic and I speak to him uh, anyway I said uh, okay so I said to him are you sure from this hadith it's sahih he said sahih I said are you sure it's sahih he said it's sahih I said, are you sure it's sahih? He said, it's sahih, man. What's wrong with you? I said, well, I have to ask you that three times, like the prophet. The prophet, he said, assalamu alaikum three times. Everything he do in his time three times. It makes sense. I mean, does it make sense that everything this man, he is anti-trinity, but yet he do nothing without saying, saying things three times? Even the abolition, you have to do with it three times for every limb of your body. Makes sense. They are anti-trinity, but they practice trinity in everything in their life. So anyway, I said, are you sure three times? And he said to me, I'm sure. And then I said, okay, based on what you said to me, that's mean Muhammad himself is the son of the devil because his father did not say that the prayer when he did have a boom boom with his mother. The guy, he took the mic and started crying. May Allah curse you. May Allah destroy you. May Allah cut your pieces. Like, What's happened to you? What happened to you? I'm just using your logic. And this is what I say. The second you use their logic, they are gone. So it makes sense that we are children of the devil because our fathers are not Muslims and did not say that prayer. But the, the second I say to him, well, that's mean Muhammad himself is the son of the devil. And this has shown us that Muhammad is stupid. Because if Muhammad is smart, should, shouldn't he remember that his father was not a Muslim and his father is going to go to the hellfire? Muhammad, he confirmed that his father is in hellfire. Is that correct? Yes. Muhammad, he confirmed that. My father and your father, they are in hellfire. So my friends, my brothers and my dear sisters. Hey, brother and sister. There is a guy, his name is the Christian Prince. And he questioned the Muslims. 
and he all would lie about Islam. Is it true that the Prophet father, he was not a Muslim? Yes, it's true. But the Prophet is except him. Is what? Except him. Do you see how they squeeze? How flexible their, not, their, 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 their sense? Or make, what makes sense to them? It's very flexible. Islam is like a, is like a balloon. Whatever you put inside, it takes. You know, like, you know, just put it inside Islam, it's okay. It is the most stupid cult ever you can imagine. Today I posted a video of a guy, he is an American convert. He was speaking about how beautiful it is to have more than one wife. And I was saying to myself, how idiot you are. He was saying it's a gift from Allah to have polygamy in Islam. I mean a gift from Allah to have four mother-in-law, you crazy man. One woman, she will, she will give you all the drama in the world. Maybe, not all of them, maybe. But one woman enough to destroy you if she want. You want four women in your home? And what would that would do? I mean, how four women they will live together? Did you see what happened to Muhammad? Muhammad, he asked for the rescue from Allah to help him against a fight with two wives. And look who is going to, going to take the side of Muhammad to protect him from two women. They are five foot tall. I wonder if they are six foot tall, what will happen? Muhammad accused his wives because they are making revolution against him for he's sleeping around and being a bad person. And Muhammad, he threatened them. If you turn two of you into repentance to him, which means to Allah, okay, what happened? Your heart are indeed inclined. He accused them to be kuffar out of Islam. But if you back each other against him, him who? Muhammad. Truly Allah is his protector. When he, truly Allah is his protector? Okay. Is that enough? No. They are two strong women. Allah is not enough. And Jibreel. Uh -huh. Is that enough? No. I'm, I'm telling you, they are so strong, those women. They are so They have long nails, man. Never fight with women. Especially if they have long nails. Truly Allah is his protector. And Jibreel, is that enough? No. And every righteous Muslim. If, 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 if. Is that enough? Like 1.4 billion. Against those two women. Is that, in no, it's not enough. And furthermore, the angels will back him. All of this to fight two women. And you are advising us to have many wives? <laughs> Obviously, your prophet, he could not control his household. And he is fabricating verses saying, Allah said that to me. Trying to scare those women. And not only that, he said to them, Allah told me that uh, maybe I should divorce you and exchange you. Exchange? This God, he believe in exchanging women? With who? You return them to Best Buy or Home Depot? What kind of cult says we exchange women? Actually, yes, they do. They do. There is, there is, there is something in Islam is called Istiharatul Furuj which mean borrowing a private part. You go to your neighbor, you say, can I borrow a private part from you? You have some slaves, he have some slaves, so you can exchange. And Allah is using the same term. Mubadala. Take your wife, I take my wife. Take my wife, and I take your wife. We we will not just take any any uh, in, in, uh, <clears throat> any calls unless he is a scholar, somebody in the in our level to speak to us. We don't want to speak to kids. Um, we want really scholars. If you are a scholar, you can go and post in your Facebook, 
we will check your Facebook or your Twitter to be to confirm that this is you that you want to debate Christian Prince I will be happy to call you immediately any Muhammadan you see first of all a man he is looking for many women obviously he is not looking for love do we agree he is looking for lust he want to sit in the couch he will have four women he want to abuse them use them and then when they get older a little bit he divorced them and he replaced them with a new let us say brand new young girls actually let me show you the ethic of muhammad about this as long as we are talking about this A man, his name is Jabir. He got married from a widow. Muhammad, he said to him, he asked him, oh, did you, uh, uh, oh, Jabir, you did marry? Uh, he said, yeah, yeah. He said, did you uh, marry a virgin? Or a woman, she is not virgin. The guy, he said, uh, not virgin. Muhammad, he said to him, why? Why? Why, Jabir, why? Why you don't marry a young girl? So you might play with her and she play with you. Is that a religion? This is a sexual predator. His name is Muhammad. Teaching his men to use women until they are losing their virginity and then throw them and marry children. Do you see it? Do you see it? How this is can be from God? How how this can be from how this man he can even speak to be anything to be? I mean, how in the world you can accept such an ethic? So I go to a married man who is happily married. And actually the story says, the long story says that this guy, he is missing his wife. He was going to attack the neighbors with Muhammad to steal their money. And he was coming back with Muhammad and he was in a rush to go home. So Muhammad, he asked him, why you are in a rush? He said, oh, Prophet, I got married. So the Prophet, oh, you get married? Really? Did you marry a virgin or not a virgin? The guy, he said, well, is not a virgin. He said, why you don't marry a kid? And in the hadith, in the other hadith, the guy explained to Muhammad, he says, well, I have too many kids at home. My brother, he died, and he left for me a bunch of little girls. So I wanted to have someone to take care of them, not somebody in their ages. Do you see it? My brother, Abdullah, he died, and he, le he fell in murder in, in Uhud. The Muslim get busted there. He left nine or seven daughters. The guy did not even remember how many daughters he had from the daughter of his brothers who died. So I, I did not approve the idea of marrying a child. So I did decide to marry a woman so she can take care of them. The man, this man, he have more ethic than Muhammad. Muhammad is a selfish man. I dislike to marry a girl like them. Do you see it? They are orphan. Those daughters are the daughters of their his his brother. I dislike to marry a girl like them. A girl. And then a Muhammad and he said to you, Trinity does not make sense. My friend, Trinity makes sense all the way because the Trinity, the Trinity is still about holiness. If Jesus was not holy, then he cannot fit. So what about you tell me how the Quran in chapter 19 verse 19 says Jesus is a sinless and he have holiness 
How you can explain to me that Jesus now in heaven where Muhammad and all the prophets are dead? How you can explain to me that Jesus have no father? That makes sense to you? The Trinity does not make sense. And this is in front of us makes sense. So my friend, whoever listening, Islam is the most silly, stupid cult. A good man should not tempt a man to leave his wife, which he like her, to marry a child. This is not a behavior of a good person. This is the behavior of the devil. What's your business? The guy is happy with his wife. What kind of a man he said to him? We say to a married man, why? Why you don't marry a little girl so you can play with her? And what is the purpose of this marriage? To play with her. And this is telling us that Muhammad is mentally ill. Muhammad, he have obviously an abuse in his childhood, so he want to be a child always. He like to be with the children. Number one, it's very easy to control. Sit here. The child said. Go to bedroom. The child go to bedroom. Sleep. The child sleep. Wake up. He likes children for he is an abuser. And he have a mental issue. A sexual predator. Right? Somebody is a Muslim. His name is Jamal. He's saying, you believe Jesus do not have a father and I am born without a mother. You are born without a mother, Jamal? Yeah, I think your mom, she found you in the, in the shelf of the refrigerator and you were an egg. Sound like it, Jamal. This is, a, this is how silly the comment. I mean, look at that. This is a Mohammedan trying to answer. And I don't have a father too. I don't have a mother. Yeah, obviously your, your, your dad, he did pay, you know, dump you from uh, with his poop. Actually, yesterday we were reading the book of Ibn Kathir. It was talking about how Allah inspired Noah uh, to hit the elephant in his anus with the stick. And then a pig came out to eat the poop because there was too much poop in the ship. And this is why the pigs are recreated. And then they found in the ship a mice. So Allah, he inspired Noah to hit the lion between his eyes. And then he sneezed and a, 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 a wild cat came out from his mouth. Makes sense. You can watch the video we just did yesterday. You can read in Arabic if you know Arabic. So when a Muslim tried to answer us, not only he make a mockery, of his God, he make a mockery of himself. Right? Now, by the way, I don't want, I don't know why when I go live, I mean, our video will have a lot of uh, viewers. When I go like not, like I, I'm going now late, really. This is why we have only 600 people watching. I did not announce it. But shouldn't we watch a video we made yesterday i mean why people they just come to the life and then if i especially if i do it like afternoon in my time i will have like before i finish ten thousand people uh, view my friend every video we make for you it's priceless information increase your knowledge you can refute any muhammadan in two seconds and every video have something in you Anyway, call me, let us talk. Who are you? Who are you? Okay, you know what? Mr. Call me, let us talk. W which book is the story about the pig is coming from the anus of the elephant? As long as you are a person who want to talk to me. Do you have knowledge? Which book? 
is where the pig is coming from the anus of the elephant. I will talk to you if you give me the correct answer. The one who said you want to call me. You answer, not them. You have no idea. We want to talk to the, the ones they claim to be Ustaz. You never want to debate me? Uh, okay. Uh, Jamal Saad, what is your uh, Skype, my friend? I will open my Skype just for you. Give me your Skype. Jamal, give me your Skype, my friend. You are the hero. Everybody will see in a second how good you are. Are you there, Mr. Jamal? Where are you? Don't play dead now. What is your Skype? Jamal Saad? Okay, hold on. Let me find you. Go ahead. <clears throat> Jamal Sad. And where is his name? Okay, Jamal. Sad. So it's connected, right? There is no space. All right. Maybe this is you. I'm not sure. I will text you. Go ahead, Jamal. Answer me back, I will call you. <coughs> I just texted you. Are you there, Jamal? Answer me. I just texted you there. Okay, let me call you. Here we go. You are not even online. <laughs> let me block you. I have no time for kids. Anyway, as you see, we are not speaking about somebody he can claim to be a prophet of God for a second. This God, this God, whoever sent this guy, let us say he, they call him God, but this is satanic God for sure. There's no good man, he will advise even a friend to say to him, why you marry a widow, marry a child. And the purpose, what the logic, is just to play with her. Just to play with her. What kind of religion this religion is? Why you don't marry a child so she can amuse you? Right? Uh... <clears throat> it 
Ibrahim Hanif. Uh, look, look, look at the even when a Muslim he called himself a name. It another proof that Muslims are following stupid cult. Because when Muhammad he said Hanif, Hanif mean a kafir. How you can call Ibrahim Hanif? And how you call yourself Hanif? Hanif is an Aramaic word, mean a pagan. <laughs> stupid cult. Muhammad he heard. Those who hate Abraham saying he's a Hanif, he's a Hanif. So Muhammad, he liked the word. He said, Ibrahim, Hanif. But you idiot, Hanif, mean he's a pagan. Just to show you another proof of his stupidity of this, this man, his name is Muhammad. If you ask a Muslim, what is the name of the father of Abraham? Chapter 6, verse number 74. The Quran says that his father, his name is Azar. What? What Azar? Where did this name coming from? Azar, look, look how stupid this man Muhammad is. He wanted to say he was copying from somebody else. You remember there's a guy, his name, Waraq ibn Nawfal, was translating from the gospel. So he wanted to say, that Abraham he said to his father Azar, which means foolish. He's not saying this is not the name of Muhammad of Abraham Fazar. So the, the idiot Muhammad he thought this is a name. Because it's a strange, it's a foreign word. He thought this is the name of the father of Abraham. But Abraham was not saying the name. Of, have you ever heard somebody saying to his you say the father, his father Azar? Well, he would say that to him. So let us say I'm Abraham. I say to my father, Azar. I mean, nobody do that. He was saying, foolish. This is foolish to worship idols. And the stupid Muhammad, he thought that this is a name. And now the Muslims, they are talking about Azar as the father of Abraham. We go to the Old Testament. We will find that the name never exists. This is stupid. Everything in this cult is foolish. The same as Muhammad who thought that Azar is the name of the father of Abraham. And the same he did. You go to the chapter of Ali Amran. Ali Amran, who is Amran? What Al? Al means a family. Ali Amran. Okay, who is in the Ali Amran? Jesus and Mary and, uh, and Aaron and Moses. <laughs> what a crazy cult. Mary, she became the sister of Musa, of, of, of Aaron and Moses. Muhammad, the idiot, he mixed between Maryam, the sister of Moses. Yes, there is a woman, her name is Maryam. And this is exactly how the Quran named Mary, Maryam. Maryam, the sister of Moses, is not Maryam the mother of Jesus? So my friends, as you see, when a Muslim is speaking about what makes sense, Ask him the same question and you will see how he will run and he will put his head under the table and he will not be there no more. It makes sense, my friend, that if I believe in God, his name is Allah. He will bring me a lot of women who Allah spent 1,000 years to soften their skin. Why? Allah never heard of Nivea. 1,000 years to soften their skin. I mean, why? Even if they are made from concrete, there's a concrete machine can soften any concrete in two seconds. Do you see how they soften the marble? This is marble is a rock. They make it so soft. Allah will take him 1,000 years to soften a skin of a woman. Why? I thought Allah, he say B is going to be. But no. In the case of women softening their skin, Allah will spend 1,000 years. One of the lies of Muhammad. <clears throat> the women in heaven, their bum will be one mile. What I will do with women, her bum is one mile. Size doesn't matter, my friend. The Arab, they like women with big bum. So Muhammad, as usual, he exaggerates with his lies. Your wife, لا يسع مقعدها ميل من الأرض. The ground will not fit for her bum one mile. 
Let us be honest. All of us, we like big screen TV. Women with big bomb like this, I mean, you can fight an army with it. She can fart at them. And farting is flammable. So you can, you, do, you can do, you get the barbecue lighting. You order your wife to bend uh, uh, down, to bend uh, over. And she fought at the, uh, the enemy of the army. One mile butt. I mean, can you imagine how much, how many, how many cubits of gas will be coming out? And you light the fire. <laughs> she will burn them barbecue. So when a Muslim, he speak about what makes sense. <laughs> that is the most hilarious question from someone himself. He believes in everything does not make sense. I cannot wait to go to heaven and see women who they have. Uh, I can see the marrow of their bones. Yeah, we like bones. How scary. It makes sense that they believe in one God, but yet they believe that stones can forgive your sin. They believe in one God, but stone is going to have a tongue. And it's going to witness for you. Everything in Islam makes sense. So anyway, I want to I wanna say thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. I hope uh, uh, our new microphone is doing good. Um, and I pray that the Muslims will listen carefully and many many today they will leave the cult of Islam my friend all the Muhammadan we invite you as we speak to accept the Messiah as your Lord as your Savior if the Trinity does not make sense to you well this is what does not make sense to you that Jesus is not God yet he's holy Jesus is just a man, but he commit no sin. Jesus is just a man, but he can resurrect people from death. Jesus is just a man, but he can make the blind see. Jesus is a man, but he can tell you what you had in your houses and he can read your mind. Jesus is just a man, but he will come in the judgment day and he will, he will destroy the devil. So how the Trinity does not make sense? You are a copy-paste person. 